Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast project. So let's get cracking. Friends, today we are going to do a day one Tinkercad account. So I'm even going to show you how to sign in. Once again, we search for Tinkercad. Press enter. You are looking for www.tinkercad.com. I recommend when you click on it, you choose login. Even though you don't have an account yet, what I recommend is hit personal accounts, sign in with Google. Of course, pick your account that you are signed into, tell them your age, and click next. And finally continue. This is what Tinkercad looks like when you show up. You can collapse those messages. You can also cancel out of any of these. And then right here is where we're gonna create a new 3D design, or we could use this button. So we are going to click 3D Design, and we'll enter the blank Tinkercad Design space. Now the first thing I'm going to do is change the name. We click up here, and today we're going to make a super simple nozzle. So I'm going to give it a name so I can find it at a later date. I had a user reach out showing they had a nozzle that tapered in, and they used inches. So let me show you how to switch to inches. We can come over here and just bingo, switch to inches. Notice you only have about eight inches to play with and we can hit close settings i prefer working in metric but the user wanted inches so i'm going to show you that you can also adjust your snap grid all the way down to the size you want i'm going to do 132nd i don't know exactly why i just want to show how to get to smaller details now like i said the design was a nozzle so right now i'm going to make a plate at the bottom so that it could plug into a hose I'm going to do that with the basic shape called the tube. When the tube comes out, don't stretch it. This breaks the parameters. So I'm going to delete that one and I'm going to bring it out again. And instead what I want you to do is go over here and change the measurements. So if you knew your radius for the whole design was 1.2 inches, you press enter and it snaps to that measurement. The wall thickness also is in inches. Right now it's 0.125. I'm going to do 0.25 and press enter, and you can see it adjust. Now the sides most likely you want to be smooth, so I'm going to do that. And then the height you can adjust with the handle. Once again, I prefer metrics, but if you want inches, that's where you go. If you want to switch back to metrics, check this out. When you're done, you can simply go right here and click close and it's the exact same project but now you're working with metrics so that all of your measurements are changing by tenths or hundredths which i find to be a lot easier all right so i'm going to stay with metric for the rest of this right now i'm going to show you another trick right here i'm going to hold down shift and i'm going to stretch this to any number but then i'm going to type 60 right here so what that did was it scaled every direction the same amount and then it typed the number right in here and it calculated the number right there i just like that for even numbers for the tutorial now this is supposed to be a nozzle currently it's freaky huge but i don't know the real numbers you need to i don't know the numbers that are really going to be useful for you so i'm just using these friends i'm going to build this nozzle with some cones there are other ways, but I think this is great for beginners. So when I bring this out, it's got that circle asking where I wanted to put it. That's called cruising, and I call this the live work plane. Right now, this is attached right to this spot. Now we could shift stretch to get those exact numbers, or we can just type the radius. Remember how this was 60? That means we want our base to have a radius of 30, and bingo, it'll match. I'll line it up better in a minute. First, I want to set my top radius. So let's say that I wanted this to taper up. And instead of 30, I'm going to say 25 and press enter. So now it's got a decent taper. I do want the sides changed to smooth. And I'm going to make it go up whatever number I want. I'm going to say 30 and press enter. So this is the start of our nozzle. I'm going to click down here, select the two of them, and choose a line. If you look right here, you can see L is the shortcut. I'll show you that on the screen as well. And we want it to be in the center of those three dots. We don't care about the height because it's sitting where we want. And then we can use the view cube to find the center of these three dots. So that's lined up, but it's not a nozzle. There's no way to go through it. Friends, watch this. We're gonna do Control D to duplicate. So now there's two of them. We're gonna make the second one a hole. 
Now we're touching the hole right now, so we know that. So we're gonna change its height to 31. That way it'll be easy to see it poke out. And then I'm gonna make a wall a thickness of three by just subtracting three from each radius. So instead of 30, 27 and press enter. Instead of 25, we're gonna do 22 and press enter. See how that leaves that awesome radius? If you look underneath, you can see the hole does show up. We need to click and drag to select these two and do control G to group them. Now, when we look back here, you can see I made this larger than I needed to. Check this out. If we go back to a wall thickness and we set this to three and press enter, bam, they instantly match. How cool is that? I wanna set another one of these up here so it has a different taper. Friends, we are gonna do something called the work plane. I'm gonna put it right there. Once again, control D which is also this button, and then we are gonna drop it to the top. D is for drop. Now we do wanna change these measurements. I could ungroup them, but watch this, I can also double click. So I'm double click this shape. I just want the purple one. I know that the new bottom radius has to be 25. You'll see that tapers in and the holes in the way for a moment. I'm gonna change the new top radius to 15. I'm going to change the height to 45, keep the sides, and now I'm going to adjust the hole. So once again, our measurements were 25, so that means this one needs to be 22. I subtracted 3, and then I'm going to double check what I put. I put 15, so that means this one needs to have a top radius of 12, and then I also need to make the height. I'm going to make it 46, so that way it pokes out one millimeter. Are you ready for this? All of that editing was while it was grouped. If I click over here, bingo, your shape for your nozzle has been created. I'm going to click W for work plane, and I'm going to set the work plane back down on the bottom. Just because it's kind of fun, I'll show you how to change the color so you can change how it looks. I also want you to see how the ruler works. If we bring this out and set it right there on a line, now every piece we click on, it will tell us the measurements. So this is 60 on a side, 25 high. Right here you can see that this one still is 60 on a side, it's 30 high. And then this one was 50 on a side and 45 high. And it shows the entire project is 55 plus 45 or a total of 100. If you wanted this entire project to be centered on that dot, we can do that real easily by grabbing all three parts and then see how the total is 60? So we just take this and do half of that, negative 30. And over here we have the full measurement. This little tiny measurement also needs to be negative 30 and press enter. Bingo, your project is centered on that build spot. I'm gonna close that ruler real quick by just clicking on the X. Real quickly, let me show you one more cool thing here. We can take anything and make it transparent so that you can see inside it. And then you can also switch it back. The shortcut for that is the letter T. And let's just add one more cool part. Once again, I'm gonna bring out a tube and I'm gonna set it on top. We do know that this has to be 15, so we can press enter. I'm gonna shift select and do L for a line. Click, center center. So there you can see that lines up perfectly. Of course, we're going to modify it so it has the wall thickness we want. We wanted three. That'll match up. I'm going to make the sides the way they're supposed to be. Change the height to a little bit longer. And then I'm going to add one more final piece. I'm going to take this one right here and once again do that work plane trick to put it on top. And I'm going to do control D, D to drop. And then just remember those measurements, we've got to double click to edit them, click on the outside. We want that bottom to be 15. I'm gonna choose the top actually getting so it closes. So let's go down to seven. And I'm gonna change that height to just 20. And then let's edit the hole. We wanna take it and the bottom radius would be 12 because that's 15 minus three. I'm going to say the top radius is just 2. We'll see how that looks. And we need to make the height like 21, so it pokes out above what we had a moment ago. There you can see it is poking out. I'm going to click back on this one, 
and I'm going to bring it down even thinner instead of seven. I'm going to take it down to four. Let's see how that looks. I think that is pretty sweet. Friends, when we click out here, it becomes complete. And there is our fancy nozzle. I'm going to put the work plane back on the ground. I'm going to grab this part and we're going to group it. You could hit control G. But that is our design. Of course, you can pick a fun color for it. If you're going to 3D print it, you need to hit export, STL. I always save mine to a special folder called 3D modeling and hit save. One thing I love about Tinkercad is it's real easy to share your projects. Check this out. First, I'm going to set my background color to something cool. Let's go to a little bit of a red. I'm going to shut off that grid just so it looks cooler. There is my awesome project. And if I want to share it with the world, I can simply click back here. Once on the workspace, I can click on the gear, change its properties, make sure it has a name. Of course, I added the word tutorial and I'm going to paste the tutorial in the description. Of course, down here, you can find ways to reach me. And down here, we have tags. Friends, I'm going to add a tag for nozzle. I'm going to put beginner because this is a beginner lesson. And friends, if you ever type the tag HLMT23, I search that tag almost every day. And of course, I'll give you a reaction. Finally, don't forget to make it public. And then I always choose attribution, no derivatives because I don't want you to be able to copy. I would rather have you come up here, follow that tutorial and gain some epic skills. Of course, friends, I do want you to remember there is a gallery. When you click on this, of course, you'll see the staff favorites. When you click on these, if it is one of mine, you'll notice there's always a tutorial. Also, reactions are appreciated. Instead of, instead of staff favorites, though, I want to shut those off, switch to the larger grid. Of course, friends, there is my design, but I want to give a couple of likes first check out this fun project that is absolutely awesome click back here and see if we can find something else that looks cool this is a ton of fun i'll give it a wow let's see if we can find uh check out this ride i'm gonna give that a wow finally down here i see a sweet submarine love that project giving it an awesome as well quickly returning to my project you can pick any of these fun reactions like awesome wow staff pick ready or keep going of course you'll find the tutorial right here and if you want to see all of my designs you can simply click on the username the designs will pop up initially sorted by likes once again if it's one of my projects reactions are always appreciated and you'll be able to find the tutorial in the description if you want to see my more recent projects you can simply switch to recent and bingo, there are all the cool things I've been creating lately. Friends, I want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you will find my day one favorites, useful starters, and then also Tinkercad essentials. Friends, I do also want to mention the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach out to me almost instantly. I also want to take a moment to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. Friends, as you can see, we've got a boatload of members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget to absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.